You just gotta go out and kick butt. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta kick butt. Friends don't let friends skip leg day and that is exactly what we're gonna do right now. We are going to do the ultimate lower body workout so that you can burn more calories and build more strength in less time. And I know you are busy, so we're gonna get right into this workout. What you are gonna need today are dumbbells. I have three different sets. Pick a weight that you feel comfortable with. Remember, this is your workout, so make it count. We're also gonna need a mat because we will be on the ground for some of the exercises, a water bottle and a towel if you need that. We're gonna get right into this warm up, and as we do, I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you how this workout's gonna go. So we're just gonna start by bringing those knees up. Just a nice active warm up here before we get into our workout. So this leg day workout, we have five rounds. Each round has four exercises, and we will go through each exercise twice. We're gonna be working for 40 seconds on, followed by 10 seconds of recovery. We're gonna do a nice, slow squat here. Bringing it up and down, nice and controlled. Warming things up. Just taking a few minutes. If we can get the blood flowing, get everything moving, that's gonna help us to prevent injury and also help us get prepared. Ooh, to go heavy. Cause that is the name of the game today. Well, maybe it is, I don't know, maybe it's not. <laughs> you can name your own game if you want, but I'm gonna go heavy. We're gonna do two more and then we are going to, that was three. Let's kick back here, just right here. Get the legs up, going, breathing. Few more exercises in this warm up before we begin. The warm up just as important as the workout and the cool down. One more each side. Take it out to a wide stance, just a sumo squat, no weight, down and up. Focus on form here so that when we do have the weight, you will know exactly what you need to do. So keep your chest up. A few more, then we're gonna go, to, go into side lunges. And then we will begin. Three more, two, one. All right, side lunges. So just turn your feet facing front and lean it side to side. Keeping your chest up. Good. Breathing, heart rate is coming up. It is getting warm. And I've already said it once, but this is your workout, so make it count. Focus on your form. If you need to take longer recoveries, make sure to do so. And don't rush through the movements. Take your time, slow and controlled. One more each side, and then we're gonna start our timer. First exercise is the squat. Start your watch if you have not yet. And pick up a weight you feel comfortable with for squats. You can use two weights. I'm just gonna use one weight for this exercise. 40 seconds. Try not to let your knees come out over your toes. Remember your form, squeezing your glutes at the top. We are gonna work all of the muscle groups today. And our lower body, from the glutes, to the quads, to the hamstrings, to the abductors, to the adductors, to the calves. Did I miss anything? I think I got it all. And if I didn't, we're gonna find out here shortly. Last one. Holding on to the weight because we have a squat pulse. So you're just gonna Hold on to your weights, sink it down, and pulse. Breathe. May have to take longer breaks here, because this will be tough. Good. Remember your form, keep your chest up. Woo, halfway. I'm telling you, the ultimate. The complete leg workout. Pulse, pulse. Come on, almost there. Core engaged. Breathe. 
bring it up, shake it out. 10 seconds, sumo squat. So feet wider than shoulder width, toes angled out. I'm gonna bring the weight down here, but you can also keep them on your legs if you have two. Down and up. Come on, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze. Breathe. Halfway, and we have one more exercise for this round. Then we're gonna do it again. I'm not sure if the front, the stairs, the front. I'm not sure if the stairs are gonna be our friends tomorrow. Last one, 10 seconds. Sumo squat pulse. So let's bring it down. 40 seconds. Here we go. Sumo squats are actually one of my favorite exercises. Keep your chest up. Shoulders down away from your ears. Breathe. Come on, in this together. If you cycle with me, oh my, we are making those legs ready for team climb. And if you don't cycle with me, where's your bike? We gotta do a workout. I'm kidding. Last one. Setting this down just for a second. Short break, same four exercises. Once more through and we're done. Bring that weight up, squat, let's go. Again, remember, take breaks as you need, especially if your form is beginning to fail or if you need to adjust your weight, do so. Come on, get the most out of it, squeeze at the top. Squeeze. Breathing out right here at the top, right here. Breathe out. Almost there. Definitely gonna need that towel today. Oh boy. Last one. Squat pulse. Woo, burn. That is a burner. Bring it up. Only 40 seconds. Let's go. Core engaged. Don't fall forward. Take a second. Whew. Back into it. We've got this. Come on, we are working together. I am right with you on this. We make those changes when it gets up. Almost there. Bring it up. Oh, shake it out. Sumo squat. I need to dry off for a second. Get into position. Here we go. 40 seconds. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Oh, I love that halfway mark. We did it 20 seconds. We know we can do it for 20 more. Squeeze it, come on. Last one. Set the weight down. 10 seconds, come on, shake it out. Sumo squat pulse. This is gonna take us to the end of round one. Here we go. Shoulders down, away from your ears. Keep that chest up. Pulse, pulse. This brings out the burn like nobody's business. Get back in 
into it. How you doing? How are you doing? Almost there. Last one. Bring it up. Breathe. One minute break. One minute rest before we go into round two. I'm gonna move this weight over. Breathe it out. What we have next, round two. I can see that the weights have stained my clothing. That's fabulous. Wow. All right. Forget about it. We're not thinking about anything but this leg workout. We have reverse lunges. Same side. Down and up. Then we're gonna go into a static lunge pulse. We have just about 15 seconds left. So, grab a weight that is comfortable for you for lunges. I'm using two weights this time, and I'm gonna keep them down. You can also bring them up on your shoulders. If not, starting with the left leg back. Let's go. Down. Sorry, we're stepping back into a reverse lunge. I'm ready to do those lunge pulses already. Again, try to keep your knee in line here, not coming out over your toes. And back. Keeping the chest up. Don't take too wide of a step back. Keep it pretty small, but if you take it too far back, you may lose your balance. Let's do one more. All right, so the same leg, left leg is gonna go back. We're just gonna pulse it. Here we go. Bring it down and pulse. Keep that chest up. You feel it in the quads, you feel it in the glutes. Oh yeah. Shaking. We know those muscles are working. Come on, keep your chest up. Again, take breaks if you need to. I'm gonna take breaks because I do not want my form to fail. You are not getting the most out of each rep if your form is off. Shake it out. Switching sides. We're gonna take the right leg back now. Stepping back with the right leg. Reverse lunge. Slow and controlled. Keep your chest up. Breathe. Did you pick the right weight for your lunges? How you doing? Almost there. Last one back. Bring it up. Shake it out. I gotta dry off really quick. Dry off, grab a drink if you need to. Going into that static lunge. Bringing the right leg back and pulse. Chest up. Weight is in the heel on your front foot for your lunges. Breathe. Come on, 10 more. Let's go. Last one, shake it out. Doing that again. Right back into it. Start with that left leg. Reverse lunge. Keep your chest up. Weight in your heel. 
If you need to set the weights down for the second round, do that. Listen to your body. I love leg day because although it usually pushes my boundaries big time, last one, bring it up, shake it out. We're doing those pulses. It feels so good when you've made it to the end. Don't forget, the end is, the end is coming. We've got this. We are already halfway through round two, pulsing. Keep that chest up. Come on, pulse. Almost there. Ten. You can do this. Last pulse. Shake it out, switch sides, reverse lunge. Last time for lunges today. Here we go. Breathe. Slow and controlled. If you do start to lose your balance, stand it up for a second. Breathe. Last one, push it up. Dry off, grab a drink if you need to. All right, right back into it. Not wasting. Anytime, pulse it. Keep that chest up. Don't let your shoulders round forward. Keep it up. Down and up. We get to take it to the ground next for round three. The whole time, we're gonna be down there. Don't let that fool you though. We're gonna be working those glutes. Ooh, something fierce. Come on, 10 more. Little pulse, up, down, up, down. I think I was backwards on that. <laughs> Last one, bring it up, shake it out. We've got that minute recovery. Set your weights down, grab a drink, dry off. All right, so next round, let me explain how it's gonna go. We're gonna be down on the ground for glute bridge or hip lifts, whichever you like to call them. So we're really gonna be focusing on that back side now. We just worked the front with those lunges. Now we're gonna work the back and then we're gonna bring it back up. So find a weight you feel comfortable with. Again, adjust your weight at any time. Take longer breaks if needed, but let's bring it down and get ready to go. Funny meeting you here. All right, find your weights. You can use one or you can use two, whichever you feel more comfortable with. But we gotta get in to that position because we have 40 seconds. Just going in to that glute bridge. Here we go, squeeze. Hold it at the top for just a second. Weight is in your heels. Push it up, down, squeeze. Keeping your shoulder blades pressed in to the floor and your heels. Breathe, keep your core engaged here as well. We're almost there, come on, squeeze it up. Last one up, up, down. Set the weights down for just a second. Now we are going into glute bridge pulse. We have just a few seconds. Here we go. Up, squeeze, squeeze. 
Very small movement, but you will feel this. Push, come on. Almost there. Push, push, good. Squeeze. Come on, think about your glute muscles working. It will help to really help you focus on that muscle. Last one, lower it down. Now we're just gonna do a sumo squat. So you're gonna bring your feet out. So that, not a sumo squat, a sumo hip lift. So legs are gonna be wider this time. We're gonna feel this working. Just a little bit more here on the outer thigh and the outer glute. Here we go. Up, up, full, down and up. And then we're gonna go into the pulse. I'm back to the pulses here. You can feel this in your inner thighs as well. Don't mind me, just getting a different adjustment on my weights. Squeeze. Down and up, weight is in your heels. You feel that burning just a little bit differently. Last one. Down. Going into the pulse now. Sumo, hip lift, pulse. Here we go. Bring it up, little pulses. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze it up. Whew. Shaking, oh my. One more round for this. Breathe. Lower it down. Take just a bit of a break. All right, bring those feet back together. That more narrow stance, just the normal glute bridge. Bring it up. Down and up, squeeze. Slow and controlled, hold it for just a second. Squeeze. Almost there, and then we've got those pulses. How you feeling? Last one. Slowly lower it down. And there we go. We've got the pulses here in just a few seconds. Bring it back up. Bring it up. Here we go. 40 seconds. Pulse, pulse, good. Oh my, I'm glad we're doing this together. Oh my, this is a real fire starter. Almost there. Last one, lower it down. Taking the weights off for just a second because I gotta grab my towel. Don't wanna cut into our 40 seconds. Back, wider stance here. Toes are turned out. Up, squeeze, down, squeeze. Keep your head down and your shoulder blades in to the mat, press. We just have those pulses to finish this round off. And then we are gonna be more than halfway. Well, we already are more than halfway through this workout. Lower it down. Pulses, 
We gotta go. This is it. Feel that booty burning. Work it hard. Here we go. Pulse. Come on. We are doing this. Stronger every rep. Push. Little movement. Come on, we're almost there. Oh my gosh, the shake. We have that minute break coming up. Last one. Lower it down. Take the weight off. Whew, I'm just gonna stretch it in for a second. Enjoy this minute break. We gotta bring it back up. Set your weights down. We're gonna hop those out of the way. I'm gonna bring it back up. Meet me when you are ready. Grab a drink and dry off. So let me tell you what we've got going on for round four. Round four, we're gonna be working the back again, but we're gonna be focusing on the hamstrings, and then we're gonna do a staggered squat. If you need to modify into a normal squat, feel free to do so. But the staggered squat, we'll just have one leg out and back a little bit, down and up. So grab your weight for Romanian deadlift. This is that move here. 40 seconds. Feet about shoulder width apart are just a little bit narrower than that. Lowering until you feel that stretch. Bring it back up, keeping the weight close to your legs. Bring it up, squeeze the glutes. Come on, make every move during your rep count. Squeeze it here. Slowly lower down, keeping your chest up, back flat. Belly button to spine, down. This is gonna be our last one here. Slowly bring it up, squeeze. Going into that staggered stance. So you're gonna have both feet in a normal squat. Step one foot back in line with that where your foot would be. And then bring the weight right here around that le leading leg. Down and up again. If you just want to do a regular squat, that is totally fine. This just helps us isolate one leg more than the other. So we are really focusing our work on one side here. Down and up, weight is in your heel. Again, don't let that leading knee come out over your toe. Let's do one more. Shake it out. Oh my. Back into our Romanian deadlift. 40 seconds. Again, working those hamstrings, working the glutes. Bring it up. We're working the back of the legs, then we're gonna follow it up with the front, focusing on the quad. Although we really are feeling it everywhere. These are definitely all compound moves moves, which means we are working more than one, one, I can't even talk, <laughs> more than one muscle group. So I'm going to be quiet now until we get this set done. Breathe. Last one. Bring it up. All right, going back into that staggered stance. Like you're going into a regular squat, step one foot back. Weights come around that leading leg. Down and up. Keep your chest up, weight is in your heel. Woo. Once more through this round. Down and up. Almost there. 
think we have time for one more. Down, up. I gotta dry off, grab a drink, dry off if you need to. I know that 10 seconds goes by so quick and we have been working so hard. Back up, Romanian deadlift. Here we go. Taking it down till you feel that stretch in your hamstrings, the back of your legs, and you pull back up. So think about the back of your legs pulling, pulling you back up, squeeze the glutes, push it forward. Down. Slight bend in your knee, not locking your legs out. Almost there. Last one. Staggered squat again. Here we go. Last time for this side. Down and up. Last round, we're really gonna focus on the calf muscles, the lower part of our legs, and the outside of our legs as well. So that's what we get to look forward to. No more squats, no more deadlifts. We have just got a few simple moves to finish this out. One more. Shake it out, Romanian deadlift. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've done a cycling workout. Telling you, burning those cows, getting stronger. I call calories cows, by the way. <laughs> if you haven't noticed yet. Romanian deadlift squeeze. Squeeze. Last time for these Romanian deadlifts. This is it. Remember your form. We've got this. Last one. Going for a staggered squat. Just giving my hands a little break. Okay. This is it. Step that leg back. Bring those weights around the leading leg, down and up. Weight is in your heel, keep your chest up. Breathe out at the top of that motion. Come on, give yourself that extra power right here to push it all the way up. Breathe when it gets hard. Do not forget to breathe. Last one. Set the weights down. We've got just about a minute before we go into round five. You, you have made it through four rounds of the ultimate lower body leg day workout. How you feeling? We are not there yet. Whew. We've got about 30 more seconds. Breathing. All right. Let me tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do side leg lift. Weight is gonna be right here on the outside of that leg. If you need to hold on to something for balance, make sure to do so. Use a, a lighter weight because this is a little bit smaller. We're also gonna be working in the glute a little bit. Then we're just gonna do calf raises. So we're gonna keep feet about shoulder width apart, up and down, up and down. Working that lower part of our leg. So grab the weights that you are gonna feel comfortable with. We have got 40 seconds. I'm actually just gonna use one weight and I'll pick the next one up for calf raises. 40 seconds. Slight bend in this leg here. Keep your chest up. 
working on our balance muscles too today a little bit. Hold it up at the top just for a second and then lower it back down. Almost there. Last one. Bring it down. If you're using weights for the calf raises, grab both weights now. Again, feet about shoulder width apart. You're gonna rise up on your toes as far as you can. Hold it for a second. Bring it back down. We've got 40 seconds. Keep your chest up. Stand up nice and tall. Don't round forward. Don't let the weights bring you down. Keep it up. Shoulders rolled back and down. Core engaged. I feel like calf muscles, I feel like they're the forgotten muscles sometimes in the, bo in the body. They're missed a lot, so I wanted to make sure. We got the complete leg workout. We gotta get all the leg. So that is what we have almost through this break. Opposite side, leg lift, here we go. Slight bend, shoulders back and down. Keeping proper form is going to help you get the most out of each rep. I know, that's why I keep reminding you. <laughs> form freak, I'm gonna say it again. Almost there. You don't need to lift your leg too high to feel this. Whoa, that one got a little crazy on me. I'm gonna do one more. Both weights. Back to that calf raise. Here we go. Up and down. You have got this. We have once more through these four exercises. I'm telling you, you may be sweaty, you may be tired, but you are gonna be feeling amazing when we hit the end of this workout. I said at the beginning, the end was gonna be coming. and We've made it last one. I'm gonna dry off quickly. Before we get into this, side leg lift. It's coming up. Just that one weight. Breathe, keep that chest up. Slow and controlled, hold it up at the top. Just for a second. Keeping a flexed foot. Heart rate gets up even when we are strength training because these muscles are big muscles. So it is really working our body hard to get through this lower body workout, which yes, I'm gonna do one more. Into the rest, calf raises. Oh my. Let's begin. 40 seconds. Hold it at the top for a second, lower down. Keep this nice and controlled, not swinging back and forth to get up on your toes. And again, if you do need to use something for balance for these and no weight, that is totally fine. That is totally fine because that means you are gonna be making the most of each rep. If you are off balance and not able to get through the full motion there of the up, use a chair to help you or something to hold on to. Last one. I'm gonna set one weight down. Going side leg lift again. Here we go. 
feel that outer thigh a-burning. <sighs> Slight bend in this leg. Don't forget about that. Let's do one more. <laughs> if I can do one more. <laughs> we have made it to the last exercise of round five. Grab both weights. <sighs> Calf raise. <sighs> and I have just one eensy teensy tiny butt kicker challenge at the end if you wanna take part in that. If you're like, um, you are out of your mind. Hi, yes I am, <laughs> okay? But I'm telling you, we're gonna burn it out. The legs are going to be speaking to us. If they aren't already. We're almost there through the calf raises. Last one. The challenge I propose to you is a wall squat, a 30 second wall squat. So if you're up to it, which I know you are because you are the bomb and you're gonna finish this out strong, get to hang out with my little puggers, bring it down, we got 30 seconds. Trying to get the back of your legs parallel to the floor, knees over ankles, don't let them come out. Hold it, hold my. Oh my gosh, we're doing it. Come on. Don't forget, friends don't let friends skip leg day because if we didn't have each other, would we be doing this? Oh my gosh, we're almost there. Bring it up. You just did it. That was amazing. Awesome, awesome job today. And I just wanna say I am so proud of you for kicking butt, for being here, for showing up for you. Now go get some dessert. That is gonna feel so good after today. Or maybe you want a little Abby workout. It's right there for you and I will see you over there. I love you, thanks for working out with me.